All right. So what I need to do. Is, uh, this is going to be a wee bit of a pain in the butt. The wiring is not going to be too much of a pain because the wire is long enough. The pain is going to be trying to get this in there. Now, there's a strong possibility that if I make the hole big enough, I can just push it in from the front. And then I gotta find a cover for this box. Because this is not, this is more of a junction box than it is for the switches. But one thing at a time. Okay, so if I put this about there, let me get a flashlight and go look. There is a screw, so if I go right about there, Here's what my game plan is. <coughs> Try to cut that out with the jig. I'll follow the top. I think that's about okay. <coughs> if it isn't, well, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Let me get a drill. Let's drill the hole right about there. That's a good spot right there. That's a good spot. This little black and decker that Chris uh, gave me a couple, I don't know, a month ago maybe, a month and a half, whatever. I don't remember. <coughs> uh, but it comes in handy because the other one, the good, well, this is work, so it's good, but the good one that I have, which is in the box all the time, uh, it's a pain in the ass, you know, to pick out the right box, which I have it marked. Um, then you got to open it up, put the blade in it, just try to just keep it out, I don't worry about it. Now this is what I was talking about earlier. There's a board there holding up the shelf. I measured it a little bit close to that board, which means that it's not going to fit because of the sled. <clears throat> so it's going to be lower. So once I get the top one done, I'm going to follow that board. Uh, then I can redraw the box. Yeah, because that is right against it right now. See what I mean here? Why am I going to bother cutting that out when I can just bolt this up against the bottom stud and a couple in there? Who 
even if I put the box on the inside, the switches are still going to be out there. They won't be out far, but I still need that area. So what's the difference at this point? You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bother cutting it out now that I think about it. I'll put some silicone in that cut. The hole I can still use to bring the wire through. I just have to drill a hole in the gizmo. And let me get these out of here because those are going to break my coyotes and I don't need them. sleeve in it and run that wire through. All right, so if I turn this light on here, it won't be too much. Oh, I have that turned off out there. Okay, I guess that helps a little bit. I just don't know how it's going to go to the camera. Okay, so here we are. I can be able to get this through here more. Let me go over there, see if I can push it in. Grab that wire. Grab that wire. Try to get it out here. There we go. There we are. Okay. So here we are. Here we are. Put these out there. And let me turn on some more light because I do need some light back here. Okay, pretty soon I won't have to go out there to do this. Yeah, it's a little tough on you guys, isn't it? Where's the zoom on this? I forgot. Is this it? No. Okay. There is a zoom. I just don't remember how to make it. And it worked easily when I was playing with it. But apparently, uh, Trim this off a bit. Let me see here. Hmm. I was thinking for a minute. 1340. And I'll get hungry. So I went in and got a piece of bread. Took the heel smudge some on half, put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, folded it over, and just inhaled that one. All right, now, uh, i got to watch what I do here, because even though one is switched, the other one is not. And i got to get it through this box. So it might be a good idea just to cut it off. And why do I have a drill out here? Because I have a bit rather, because I have a drill. Am I the only one that does that?
So let's stick one of these through here one at a time. And I put this in backwards actually, um, which is going to make it a little tough, but not too. The plug I'm talking about, the ru it's a rubber one uh, or a plastic one. But what I had done was uh, I put it in from there. Well, let me get one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This thing. I put it in this way because I wanted this to fit into the hole that I made so that it doesn't keep the box out. Because if I put it in this way, which is the way it should have gone in, it would have kept the box off the wall a little bit and I didn't want to have to try to make a bigger hole. So I did it this way. And I'm going to make it just a little bit harder to uh, get the wire through. And it's going to do the same, the same job. It's just going to be a little bit harder. And the ground. Put it ground. Yeah, I gotta bring the ground through. Let me see if I can ground the box, which I'll end up doing that anyway. Let me see here. Oh, I, I should get my electrical pliers, seeing that I'm working with electrical. What do you think? How many did I decide to do? That's what I wanted to know. I'm confused. I gotta check this. For some reason. I got a switch, but I got to figure out what I'm putting on the other end of the switch. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm missing a wire here. Where's the wires? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a switch on the line? What's that doing for me? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I got to bring in more wires. To go out. Uh, to a plug. And a plug. I think I'm gonna put the plug out there. I don't need it in here. I have all these plugs. So I gotta run another wire. Out. Now this is direct berry, and the difference in this, and this is 14, but the difference in this is basically the case is more or less made for burying and it's not supposed to take in water and it's supposed to make it safe. Okay. I got more than enough here. I've got loads of it actually out there, but these are pieces that I have. Yeah, 